I think we're going to continue this move up higher on the short term. I think this looks pretty good to me. Um, I'd say 50k caps the upside on this. Stochastic Corusai is oversold. I think we come up to around here, guys. And if we do get that, it's a really good sign because we've broken the actual swing high in terms of the, the, the short-term swing high. Then I think on the daily scale, because of the momentum indicators, I do think this is probably going to come down a little bit. I think that will coincide with something like that, back down to support. If we find support on previous resistance, then actually it's a great sign that we're going to continue, get the higher low, continue to trend up. And I do think that if we get above 50, we can't really see much resistance from 52... I think we're going to go to 58. I think we go to 58, between 58 and 60K like that. Then we stop up here and actually then we come back down and probably break some levels on the way down and get and then more of a medium term high low and go sideways for a bit. And you can see as well, you know, the the kind of the narrative. I'm, you know, the reason I think that 58 is looking like it's going to be the, the stop off point is because of Fibonacci as well. It's between the 618 and the 786 retracement to here. And it's unlikely that a market will go from a lower low um it, it's unlikely a market go from a lower low directly to a higher high um in one move because that, that'll be overextending momentum it's more likely the market's going to do a lower low come up make a lower high come down make a higher low and then break out and potentially even just go sideways for even a little bit longer and then wait for some sort of sideways formation okay so that's like me just um you know reiterating that point there that's what i think my hunch that's where my hunch lies and in validation of that guys are just getting resistance on any of these levels we can see above us and then yeah i would say ultimately the bearish case is that we lose the 40k region so say we just don't say we just hit resistance hard now and we just can't get above this level here ultimately the the bear case is that we come down we break this previous support we come up, we see it as resistance, and we make a lower high, and actually then we just continue the trend with the lower low, and then the next target for the downside is $30,000, and I see a bounce of 30 k and then we go through the whole same process. Will we make a high high on the on the micro? Can we make a high low, and then actually try and make that medium-term swing?